I'm going to show you how you find the units of K, the rate constant. So one fundamental principle that you have to understand is that units have to be equal on both sides of an equal sign. Units have to be the same on one side of an equal sign as they are on the other. We know that an overall rate law equation looks like this in general, where the rate is in molarity per second, K has unknown units that we have to find, and then we multiply that by the concentration of the reactants in molarity to some overall order of the reaction. So this overall order of the reaction, X here, really determines the units of K. We know the rate is always going to be molarity per second. The reactants, however, are going to either be raised to maybe the first power, the second power, the third power, and we may have molarity cubed, molarity the second power, and based on that overall order, we're going to have to adjust K to make this molarity per second just like this is molarity per second. I've got three situations here, an overall order of first, second, and third. So if our reaction has an overall first order, it's going to look something like this. If our reactant is A, let's just call it A, rate equals the rate constant times concentration of A to the first power. We just don't write that one in. Well, we know rate is in units molarity per second, right? That doesn't change. And this A to the first power is just going to have units of molarity to the first power. So how do I make molarity equal to molarity per second? What units do I have to put in for K? Well, if I put in one over seconds or seconds to the negative one, the same thing, I get molarity over seconds, just like molarity per second. So K in a first order overall reaction has to have units like this. What about if the reaction was overall second order? Then we would have something that looks like this or even something that looks like this. These are both overall second order reactions. They're units of concentration squared times K equals molarity per second for the rate. So the rate is always molarity per second. In this case, it's molarity squared. The overall order of the reaction is two. So how do I make molarity squared equal to molarity per second? How do I, how do I adjust it? Well, if I divide this by molarity times seconds, I cancel out that two and then I cancel this out. So now it's molarity per second, right? So in this situation, when the overall order of the reaction is two or it's second order, the units of K have to be one over molarity times seconds or molarity to the negative one times seconds to the negative one, same thing. All right, let's look at an overall third order reaction. In this case, we're gonna have molarity cubed over here. These are both examples of third order overall reactions. You end up with a three here, molarity cubed. You could have A squared times B, B squared times A, A cubed, B cubed, but this overall exponent here is three. So again, rate is always molarity per second equals some units for K times molarity cubed. So how do I make this side molarity per second? Well, if I divide by molarity squared times seconds, this three turns into a one, this m squared cancels out, and I'm left with molarity per second. So in an overall third order reaction, the units of K have to look like this. One over molarity squared times seconds, or molarity to the negative two times seconds to the negative one.